Uh, well, this is it, guys. It has been an amazing month, but all I have to say is farewell, Japan. Ooh, and hello, Bali. Ooh, yes, finally made it. Oh, that was such a long journey. Uh, I had like a four hour layover in, in Kuala Lumpur. But that's alright guys, I finished my one month epic trip throughout Japan, it was so amazing. But now I've got more adventures throughout Bali, Indonesia, and I'm probably spending about a month here. Um, but I just landed in the Denpasar International Airport, and like I've had some experience going through a lot of airports, but for a lot of people it can be a very stressful moment trying to figure out where to go and how to get to your accommodation from the airport and it can also be a very expensive moment if you don't play your cards right. Like, apparently here the taxis rip you off big time, so I'm gonna show you which taxi is the right one to get and which is probably the best and cheapest, <coughs> I mean the best and cheapest transportation to get. So, let's do it guys. All right, so the second you get off the plane, it's super easy to get around. You just keep following along the path and you'll come to the immigration. My tip, just get to the immigration line up as quick as you can because usually if you're like the last one there, you're waiting at least 15 minutes in the lineup, um, And then you literally just come straight out into the baggage area. So you just come pick up your bag. Um, one thing to note on visas, so you can get into Bali without a visa for up to 30 days. Um, that's valid for a lot of different countries and regions. <coughs> Sorry, I just, I'm not really feeling good today. <laughs> um, yeah, and sometimes that they may or may not ask you if you got a flight out of Bali. So I was very unlucky because I actually didn't have a flight out of Bali and I was one of the unlucky ones and they asked if I had one. So I didn't, and then I actually had to book one on the spot. And this was when I was leaving Japan. So I had to end up booking one on the spot out of Bali after my month is over. Um, but if you want to get a visa, you can, I mean, like if you want to stay here for longer than 30 days, you have to get, get a visa here. Um, so it's, the visa, it's, it's a bit confusing. So it's free, the visas but for 30 days, you don't need a visa for 30 days, but if you want to extend for 60 days, then you need to buy a 30 day visa. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So yeah, if you want to stay longer, then you just have to buy a 30 day visa on arrival, and then you have to extend it at an embassy pretty much at least before the 30 days is over. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get my bags and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so the second you come out, of, through customs, you'll, there's ATM machines like straight out the door. So if you haven't already organised some um, Indonesian rupee beforehand, which I recommend, then there's ATM straight out the door there to get, which I just got some then. And the exchange rates here are ridiculous. It's like 10,000 Indonesian rupee is like one Australian dollar. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I've noticed is the taxi drivers will ask you if you want a taxi ride and just keep saying no, no, just keep going and I'll tell you what to do. And so I just walked by a SIM card um, area as well. So you can buy your SIM cards in the airport, but I recommend not because I've heard it's probably like double, triple the price. So here, if you can wait to get to your accommodation or get to town, at least wait till then to buy a SIM card. Um, and if you need reception, there's free Wi-Fi in the airport. All right, so I've got a few options for transportation up my sleeve. Um, I actually did a fair bit of research before I come here. So like every place I go to, I always do a bit of research now because I just don't want to get ripped off. I've been ripped off before, guys. Um, when I went to Manila in the Philippines, a taxi driver just screwed me over bad when I left the airport. Like he, he charged me like 50 US dollars and I was just a dumb tourist back then and paid it. But yep, now I am make sure and I always know what to do um, and not getting ripped off. Though the main transportation I recommend, these are the few. So you can get, number one is 
taxis, of course. Um, I highly recommend do not get the main taxis when you come straight out the door. The people asking Taxi Taxi, say no to them because they're the ones that are non-metered um, and they're the ones that will charge you like, I don't know, two, three times as much as usual. So I think, yeah, they'll charge you probably 400, 400,000, which is around 40 Australian US dollars. Um, oh, that's from here to Ubered. So that is where I gotta get, I gotta get to Ubered. <clears throat> so, and then there's the Bluebird taxis. So Bluebird taxis are the metered ones, they're the trusted ones, but they say they actually can't come to the airports for some reason. So they're not allowed to pick you up from the airport but I heard if I go to, I think it's domestic terminal, um, I think I have to go up a few floors where everyone gets dropped off, um, the Bluebird taxis will be there and they'll be sort of happy to take me from there. But yeah, as I said, they can't pick you up directly from the airport, but if you meet up with them through domestic when they're dropping other people off, you can do that. And then other options is there is a bus called the Curie Curie bus. Um, sorry if it's bad lighting at the moment. So this bus runs at certain times, going to certain places, but I think it runs from, what is it? It's like 8 a.m. till 10, but that's only to different certain places as well. <coughs> um, so because I need to go to Ubered, it literally runs from 9 to 2 p.m. <laughs> So that's not an option, and that bus also leaves. Ah, oh, what's the station called? It leaves from a bus station, which is like a 10 minute drive north of here. But if you want to get the bus, that's a really cheap option. That's only 80,000, and so like eight Australian dollars. Um, so that would be good if you can get that. And another option is the. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, is is Gojek. So Gojek is pretty much similar to Uber um, and it is like the number one Asian sort of Uber here. It's super super cheap and there's another one called Grab but I think Gojek is actually better. Um, so once you're at the airport if you want to organize that um, yeah you can just organize it through the Wi-Fi so that's probably what I might do maybe unless I get these Bluebird ones. Uh, and so don't even bother getting Ubers around here because Ubers, uh, I think they're illegal, I don't know. They're just, the Ubers aren't allowed around here. <laughs> um, am I missing out on something? No, ah, that's it, yeah, so that's all your transportation needs that you can get. Um, I think I covered most of them. So let's go figure out, I think first I'm gonna see if I can get one of those Bluebird taxis. Um, if not, I might see if I can get on the Wi-Fi and organize a go jack well i made it to my accommodation <laughs> it was a bit of a rush in the end um sorry but i actually didn't film when i got in my cab but yeah i ended up finding a bluebird taxi so i found an elevator going up to where people are getting dropped off to the airport and then i just sort of just found a bluebird taxi it has a little like more well, bluebird on the top of it and i was like hey 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 so I made sure i got that one um, and yeah, that cost me 250,000 uh, Indian rupee to get here. So yeah, 25 Australian dollars, which is average price. Um, and it was also quite interesting getting to this exact accommodation as well. So they dropped me off where it showed on the maps and then I was following down an alleyway and <laughs> I couldn't find it. So on my other maps, it was showing somewhere else and I was trying to go there, couldn't find it, but Long story short, I just went down like a super long alleyway and ended up, ended up finding it. <laughs> but it is so beautiful, guys. I'm in it right now. I'm not going to show you everything today. I'll show you it next video. But oh my God, this place is way above my expectations. All right, so one more thing I forgot to mention to you guys is if you do choose to get a Gojek or a Grab, um, it is sort of the same deal like a Bluebird taxi. They can't actually pick you up from the airport. Uh, so you actually have to organize them to pick you up sort of outside of the airport area. Um, I'll show on the maps kind of right here. But yeah, once you get out of the airport, you 
take a hard left and then you just follow down that road strip for a bit um you just keep going and then you'll come at a parking lot area i think it's like the domestic parking lot but yeah just tell the gojek or your grab driver to meet you there um and then yeah he can just pick you up from there nice and simple but yeah that's the tips i have for you guys um i hope this video was useful if you believe there's any other sort of ways getting around from the airport to accommodation that may be better please leave a comment in below um and if i was wrong about a few things let me know because it wouldn't surprise me but yeah as i said these are just a few things i researched um and if you do choose the option where you might well you just give in to the cab drivers i mean the main taxi drivers then always try to barter them down because they'll give you like a set price list um, one guy actually come up to me and it was 380,000. Um, but yeah, you just, just barter them down. Just say 250, 250, 250. I only do it for 250. If you're going to Uber, of course, um, if you're going other places, yeah, the prices will vary. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to go there guys. I am absolutely exhausted. It has been a big, big day. It is literally almost midnight right now, but yeah. I'm going to chill out in my nice new accommodation and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching. Follow your dreams and escape your comfort zone. This is so comfy.